What's up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Today we're gonna to do some tiny creek fishing. I'm at a small creek here in West Virginia. There's a few public access spots here close by. We're at the first one right now. It's super cold, super windy. It's about 10 to 20 mile an hour winds and it's only about 45 degrees, so could be tough, but I have my ultralight set up here with four pound test. It's a five foot six ultralight rod. We're gonna start out with a trout magnet and see if we can catch some fish. If that doesn't work, we could switch to a spinner or something different. Um, there's all kinds of fish in here. There's uh, smallmouth, largemouth, sunfish, maybe some trout. Um, so we're going to target whatever will bite. Hopefully we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. Fish on. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, boys. First fish of the day, baby. Little fall fish. Hold still. I'm going to put you back. Little fall fish. Fish number one. First species of the day. See if we can keep this going. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way across right here. There's a little creek that feeds into this creek. I'm gonna go up there and see if maybe there's some fish hanging up, hanging up in that creek right up there. Fish one. Dang, I didn't even know he hit it. What the heck is that? Huh. This would be like another little fall fish. Something. Kind of weird, I don't know. I don't think that's a fall fish. I don't know what that thing is. Pretty cool looking. Anybody know what this is? If anybody knows what kind of fish this is, comment below, because it doesn't look like a fall fish to me. It's got a different style mouth and different uh, different looking scales. See you, buddy. So we're up to two now. I mean, he hit that thing as soon as it hit the water. I didn't even know he was on. There's probably some more in there. Yep, there's another one. Probably a whole school of them in there. Same type of fish, just smaller. There's a deep spot right over there against that bank. And I think they're in there uh, just chilling. Yeah, there's just a whole whole school of them in there. They're just fighting over it when it hits the water. Got another one. He's colored up a little different. Uh, no, he's pretty much the same. Just kind of got some little darker spots on him in certain spots. Got a little... Yeah, he's pretty much the same. All right, we're gonna head back to the truck. Just gotta get across this creek right here and we're gonna go up to a, a different spot and try it out. See if we can catch some different fish and some more fish. Unfortunately, I lost audio at the second spot. I'm using a new external microphone and it just lost audio. It wasn't working properly, but I'm at the second spot making my way down this steep bank. The second hole looks really nice. It looks long and deep and has some structure, but I make my way up the creek a couple hundred yards and that's when I hook up with my first fish. There's a nice tree right here in the water. I make a cast over to it, thinking that it might hold some fish and I hook up. It looks to be a pretty nice fish, pretty decent size on that ultralight rod. It's bending it over pretty well. 
Uh, I wasn't sure exactly what it was until I got a little closer and I could see the coloring on it. I knew exactly what it was. Um, it's a nice size fall fish. Wasn't huge, but for this ultralight setup, it was a lot of fun to catch. So I get my net out here and um, get the fish in the net. The trout magnet actually came out of the fish's mouth as I netted it, so I didn't even have to unhook it. Just had to get the trout magnet out of the net. Um, got a nice close-up shot of the fish. Very beautiful fish, and these fish will hit uh, baits in cold water. They're very aggressive in the cold water, so it's nice to catch something when nothing else is biting. Get a good release on this fish, and that's going to do it for the second spot. I make it to the third spot. Looks super promising. Looks like some deep water right here at this bridge. Lots of rocks and stuff, so tossing this trout magnet out, uh, fishing it slowly, trying to let it sink down there towards the bottom. I don't catch anything at this spot, but right about this time is when the game warden walks up behind me, and uh, I got audio for this. Hello. Not yet. Yeah, it's in my truck. Anything. I know they don't stock trout in here, but I was, uh, I don't know, trying to catch some smallmouth or I caught some fall fish earlier today. Oh, it's freezing. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Oh, yeah. These are like insulated neoprene, so okay. I got some like long johns underneath, so definitely the way to go. <laughs> yeah. Lifetime. Good to go? Good to go. Appreciate it. Cool. Thank you. Have a good day. Been a while since I've had my license checked. going to do it for today pretty tough day slow fishing I managed to catch a few fish so I didn't get skunked can't complain too much I did get checked by the game warden but he was respectful he was nice so I have no complaints with that he was just doing his job sorry I couldn't catch more fish for you but it was just a tough day the fish were very lethargic and cold so I have a four-day weekend coming up for Thanksgiving I plan on doing some fishing then maybe some pond fishing for largemouth, maybe some trout fishing, maybe some smallmouth fishing. I just haven't decided what I'm doing, but stay tuned for that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hawk out.